So hello once again, uh, here is your first question based on the application of Lamy's theorem. The statement is given that an electric light fixture weighing 15 Newton hangs from a point C. So here is point C and uh, this is a light fixture which is having a weight of 15 Newton. By two strings AC and BC. So there are two strings AC as well as a BC. So with the help of these two, okay, this electric light fixture is uh, you know uh, hang from the point number point C now they mentioned that the string AC is inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal and BC at 45 degree so these angles are given 60 degree and 45 degree with the horizontal and the vertical now they ask for what using Lamy's theorem so here we are going to use Lamy's theorem to solve the problem and determine the forces in the strings AC and BC. So these are the unknowns that we have to solve. So now let's see how to apply the Lamy's theorem. You know you must require three forces and coplanar concurrent three forces. Okay. So we have to find the point at which you will get the three forces, uh, three forces passing through it. So now here, I'll first erase this and uh, enlarge this figure. So that I can show you everybody uh, clearly and you can understand it properly. Now see here, free body diagram, this is the first step in order to solve the equilibrium problem. And for applying the Lamy's theorem, we need a point through which three forces are passing. So there are three points, you can see here A, then the B and the C. Now I'll go, you know, to each and every point one by one and then we will decide with which, we, with which point we can proceed. Now see these are the strings like a cable okay so cables or strings normally carries a tension and tension is always away from the point okay so here if I consider point C so AC cable so the force will act away from it the force will act away from it and then if I consider point B oh, sorry uh, cable BC and point C is under consideration then the force will act away from it. So this is tension AC and this is tension BC. Now you know that weight is always acting vertically downward and it is always in a Newton, not in the kg. So directly they have given the 15 Newton. So there is no need to you know convert the value. So here weight will act vertically downward. So at C point we are getting three forces and all three are concurrent forces passing through a point C. If I consider A, so AC cable is connected and if A is under consideration, then the tension force will act like this. This is nothing but TAC having the same magnitude, but the direction is different when you compare with the point number C. Now, if I draw everybody for the B, then only one force, which is the tension BC. Of course, the magnitude is same. The direction is exactly in the reverse order. Now the thing is that with which point we have to proceed. So if I want to apply the Lamy's theorem, then of course we have to proceed with the point C because we are getting three forces acting at it and they form a coplanar concurrent force system. So now I'll draw a BD for the point C. So the first force so that I am going to consider is TAC or before that I will draw two axes vertical and horizontal so idea will be more clear to you. This is the vertical axis and this is the horizontal axis. Now I will show the forces. So the first force, uh, this is point number C. This point is C. Now I will show the forces. So here force TAC, so it is acting over here.
and uh, then the TBC and then finally the weight which is a 15 Newton vertically downward from the point C. So now I will mention all the forces over here. So this is TAC, this is 15 Newton and here it is TBC. I will show all the angles as well. Now you can see here, uh, this is 60 degree, so with horizontal this becomes 60 degree, okay. So this is 60 degree. Now this is 45 degree with the vertical, if I draw a line, so this becomes perpendicular that is 90 degree. So this remaining angle is also 45 degrees. If I want to you to show, I will enlarge this so that you can easily understand, see here. This is 60 degree given to you, so alternate angle 60 degree over here. Similarly, this is 45, this is 90, so remaining angle is 45 degree. So with horizontal, I have 60 and 45 for the AC and BC cable respectively. Okay, so this angle is 60 degree and here it is 45 degree. Now for the Lamis theorem, as we have already seen, we need angle between the forces, a total angle between the forces. So if I start with the TAC and 15 Newton, then the total angle, so here it is, I will mention the total angle, 60 plus does 90, so 150. Then I will consider 15 and TBC, so here you can see this is 45 degree and this is 90, so 45 plus 90 becomes 135 and the last one, the angle between TBC and TAC. So now the with horizontal a complete angle is 180. So this angle will become this angle will become 180 minus 45 minus 60. Okay. So this becomes uh, 105 and this is 180. So this becomes 75. Okay. So I'll mention here 75 degrees. Now uh, I already told you while uh, discussing the Lamis theorem. At least one force should be known to you and all other angles, okay. So here if you go through this figure, one force is known that is 15 Newton and all angles are known to you. So now it's time to apply the Lamis theorem to get the final answer. So I'll start with the known value that is 15 Newton. So 15 divided by the angle between other two forces. If I consider 15 Newton, other two forces are TAC and TBC and they have an angle of 75 degrees. So sign of angle between other two forces that is 75. Now I will go for the next ratio and I will go with the TBC. So TBC if I consider other two forces are TAC and 15 so angle is 150. So TBC divided by sine of angle between other two forces that is 150. And the last one is a TAC. divided by angle between other two forces, TAC is under consideration, TBC and 15 Newton are other two forces, so 135 is the angle, so sine 135. So now first I will equate 15 by sine 75 is equal to TBC sine 150, so I will get the answer for TBC. So my equation will become TBC is equal to 15 divided by sine 75 into cross multiplication sine 150. Here I will take a calculator for the calculation. So 15 
into sine 150 divided by sine 75. So this answer is coming out to be 7.764. So TBC is equal to 7.764 Newton. Okay. So this is the answer for TBC. Please do calculate and uh, cross verify. Then I'll go for the next equation. I'll equate this ratio with the TAC ratio. Okay, so 15. So my equation will be TAC is equal to 15 divided by sine 75 into cross multiplication that is sine 135. So if I solve this, I'll get the value of TAC. 15 upon 15 into sine 135 divided by sine 75. So the answer is coming out to be 10.980. Newton. So this is the value of TAC. To get the more accurate answer, uh, it is uh, uh, suggested to have a three deci uh, three uh, numbers after the decimal places. Okay, three digits after the decimal place. So always go for this, uh, met, uh, you know, uh, practice so that you will get the more accurate answer while solving the question. So here. After the applying the Lamy's theorem, we are getting TBC and TAC is a value that is 7.764 and 10.980 respectively. So, I will revise here quickly what we have done in the you know solution or to solve this problem. To solve this problem. So, here first uh, we draw the FBD after understanding the question. So, FBD, in FBD it is uh, very much clear that we have to proceed with the C point and uh, at point C, there are three forces acting. All angles are known to us. We calculated the angle between the forces, okay, in order to apply the Lamy's theorem. And then we got this ratio. We got this ratio. This is the Lamy's. This is the ratio we got after the application of Lamy's theorem. So after you know having this equation, we equated this fraction with this to get the TBC and then this fraction with this to get the value of TAC. I hope the uh, idea about uh, applying you know Lamy's theorem is uh, quite clear to you. Uh, still if you have any query in this question or any other question you can comment it uh, you know and I uh, will definitely revert back to you. So now we will proceed for the next question which is again based on the Lamy's theorem. 